Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I actually want to make a special video for y'all today. So basically, we're about to go behind the scenes of a YouTube commentator a day in a life. We're about to actually make a YouTube commentary. You're going to see all the things that I do behind the scenes when I'm doing my commentaries. And also, as a big reminder, if you want to be in Sports Commentator March Madness, go to Game Face Studios YouTube channel, watch the channel trailer, and follow all the directions. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you leave a comment, share it, you know what I'm saying, with all your friends. Let's jump into it. Be right back. Word's been going around that you are starting to become really isolated from the team, eating lunch in your car by yourself, not talking to anyone. What's the real story here? What? Seriously, man? People, people think I'm isolated from the team? I mean, I, I would never shut my teammates out like that. They, they mean too much to me. Oh, man, this is not good. Not good at all. I did eat my lunch in my car that one time, but, but it was only once because I, I needed a little break, you know? I, I swear there was nothing more to it than that. You guys totally have to believe me, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of this team. Totally. Look, man, this story took off way more than anybody expected, but you just added fuel to the fire with your press conference. Yo, it's crazy how they're trying to blow this up, though, man. Can a dude just go out to his car if he's trying to be alone for a while without getting some label? Yo, I was just trying to chill out, you feel me? I know, man, but there's eyes and ears everywhere always looking for a story. Then you take a little offense to the way that the story got spun. I mean, you just giving the story more legs. Man, it's ridiculous. I feel like I can't do anything anymore. Look, man, just let it serve as a wake-up call. All right, what you say to the press matters. Next time you got a mic or a camera on you, think twice before you open that big mouth of yours. <laughs> Yo, man, I thought I was thinking, man, but uh, I guess I gotta try a little harder or something. Thanks, man. The story will blow over, man, I mean, these stories have short shelf lives, you know? Don't sweat it. I hope so. Ridiculous. After that wake up call by my best friend, I tried everything to try to get my team's trust back because I knew that they were the people that were hurt the most. I was trying to send double teams all day long, trying to swipe guys. I was putting myself out there, man. I didn't care if I got five fouls, six fouls, 10 fouls, 30 fouls, didn't matter. But we couldn't come out with the win. The Spurs just were the better team that night. But I still tried to give it my all. I still tried to show my team that I cared. Look, I don't even care if the people I'm guarding scores. All that I want to prove is that I'm here to help my teammates. I'm here to be a team player. And that I don't want to be that lone wolf. Now, I hope you guys like that. We're about to hop into another game. Yeah, I think I might stay on the camera for y'all for this commentary. Let's get into it, y'all. What's up, man? Just want to let you know that things seem to be going good. Like the way you're playing, doing well with the media. Keep it up, man, and there'll be more good things to come. Hey, I just want to say one thing. I haven't seen anything good yet. He's saying more good things to come, and I still don't have a shoe deal. I'm still wearing these skippies on my feet. We at the Barclays Center. I'm about to ask Hove, can I wear a pair of S. Dot Carters just for one night? <laughs> you feel me? But, uh, man, I, I did decide to stay with my regular agent, my best friend. Hopefully, you know, some good deals do come. Miles Plumley is going up against Steesman in the tip. And you know Steesman's going to grab that. You know, I don't know why he grabbed it, but he did. Now, uh, we're going up against the Brooklyn Nets, and I have to show my dominance early. So I'm going up against Darren Williams one-on-one, -on -one, no help, and I get right past him with the left-hand layup. Let's check out the replay real quick. I slither right past him. Could I be the next Black Mamba? Hmm, we'll see. But uh, I'm still putting on a few moves, trying to show Darren Williams that I'm that guy. Now, everybody already knows that I do know how to dribble, but one thing I try to pride myself on is passing, and nobody ever wants to take the pass, so guess what? I got to do what I'm better next at, dunking on his. Check out this one. I, I just elbow Plumley all up in the face. Like, anybody see that? Like, I committed a flagrant foul on that one. That was a crazy poster. 
But check me out trying to put pressure D on Williams, and I actually get my ankles crossed up. Like, you know what I'm saying? For a second there, I stood still like, ah, 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 it hurts. <laughs> but check me out throwing a nice little outlet pass to Evans. He gets a nice left-hand layup to go. Now, uh, we got a nice little lead. You know, we're building on it. You know, something light. Now, uh, it's 17-11. Darren Williams does what nobody is supposed to do in NBA 2K14, which is a spin move when the defender is right next to you. And now I wore Eric Gordon with a nice little bounce pass so he can go in for the dunk. You know, something light, something light. You know, we could do so much better at that. But check me clearing things out. I'm about to put this boy on skates. You see the way he's shuffling? He don't even know what he's supposed to be doing. He's just like, I'm going to follow this guy because that's what they told me to do. Now, as I pass it off and they do all that nice little ball movement, nobody still wants to take the shot. So I'll take it. You know, I'll silence the crowd myself. Of course, you already know how the game go. Now, check out that pass. Did anybody see that? He threw that pass and the ball literally stood there for like three seconds. Nobody was there. It didn't go out of bounds. Does he got magic powers? Does he got telekinesis? Somebody tell me. But you know I had to come back down on the offensive end, get these points back. So I give it off to Miller. He gets the nice little right-hand layup in the paint. Something like, you know, we're going to watch the replay. You know, Steesman set the little phantom block. We'll take that, though. You know, we'll clap it up on the way down to the other end. Now, uh, one thing about Brooklyn, they like to come back. Um, and not in a good way, but... Guess what? That just happened. Yeah, man. Um, life alert. Yeah, we're, we're going to need a commercial soon. You know, maybe we'll wait for that. Maybe we'll wait for that. <laughs> now, uh, it's 59-56. Three-point play on the way. Your boy put up the shot and you know it's cash. You know what I'm saying? I dropped those without a problem. Now, uh, I told you about those one-on-ones, right? I told you what happens when they clear it out. Life alert. Tiss, tiss, tiss. What I tell y'all, man? People need their ankles, man. They need them. And I just keep taking them away. But check out this nice little move that Joe Johnson did. Did anybody peep that? Like, he literally waited till both of us jumped and grabbed his own rebound. What? That's crazy. Then he had the nerve to kick it out. Like, come on, man. 2K just be trolling me all the time. But check them out getting the nice little cookies. I'm calling for the ball like my life depends on it. He finally gives it up. But, you know, it's too late, man. The fast break is over. So we're about to play a little bit of half-court basketball. And I get in the paint. And I get Darren Williams to get his, his second foul. You know, something light. You know, and I put on the sumo act. Anybody see me slap my knees? Mm. Mm. Anybody? Okay. Anybody peep that? All right. I know y'all peeped it. <laughs> But hey man, this is how things go, man. It's 9182. Uh, lovely sight, lovely sight. Now we're up 10, you know, but I want to fast forward things a little bit, you know. We're in the third quarter still. I want to fast forward it to the fourth quarter. Can we do that? Yes. That was magic. I was like, mm, fourth quarter. That's what them transitions do. But uh it's 94 to 86. I'm still putting on a whole bunch of dribble moves. But check out Anthony Davis cutting to the rim. Now I wish he would have dunked on somebody's head. But he decided to go in pretty. You know, he just got his eyebrows arched. So, you know, he just wanted to lay it up real real smooth. You know, something light. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm clowning. I know. But, you know, we still have double digits. Jason Terry, I don't know why he's handling the ball. He gave it to the wrong person, by the way. I'm going all the way. And then I'm about to do the 360. Hey, somebody give me a little bit of detergent. It's spin cycle time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all peep that replay. Peep me getting up in they grill, smiling. <laughs> smiling and profiling. Now, of course, you know, they're going to come down, think they could do something with us. It ain't about nothing, you know. I'm a D up. So, they go into the paint, the KG, the old man. We get the cookies, so we out on the break once again. I tell Holiday to give it up, and I dunk on Darren Wayne. Oh, my God. Somebody get him a casket. Somebody go get a hammer, dig up this floor, and build this man a shiny new Barclay Center casket. It'll be a beautiful sight. Just, just so beautiful. But check me out going up against the defense. Was that four defenders I just took a layup on? Four defenders, guys. Tell me about it. It's just beautiful. Just so beautiful. All right. Now, just to show you guys something from the last end of the fourth quarter. Did y'all peep that play? Now, 
it went out of bounds and it's Nets ball, but who did it really hit off of? Because when I first looked at it, I thought it went directly past Anthony Davis's leg, and I thought Kevin Garnett might have touched it last. But check out what 2K did to me. It went through Anthony Davis's leg, which means, guess what, guys? Anthony Davis touched it. Yay! <laughs> But to fast forward it, I told you guys, they cannot run those little full court presses, man. Whenever a team runs a full court press on me, they just asking for a highlight. They just asking to keep going down in the deficit. But the game is over. And did y'all see me make Reggie Evans fall? <laughs> like, I know that was totally disrespectful. Like, I didn't even mean for that to happen. But <laughs> he just fell for no reason. Like... At that point in time when I was playing the game, I was laughing so hard I couldn't even run a replay. Now, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is how I do some of my commentaries, man. Um, when I'm doing a live commentary, I'm playing a game, you know, playing in front of the TV, my head going back and forth. But uh, this right here is somewhat of, you know, live reaction slash, you know, you know, commentary feel. So, you know, hopefully you guys like the video, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you want me to make another video like this sometime, just let me know, you know. The camera is always on. But um, I'm going to holler at y'all. This is IKC signing out. Don't forget, Sports Commentator March Madness 2014. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.